Um, you know, it's funny is uh, just side note, um, UFC 152 in Toronto, they had like 16-8, and supposedly Canada is supposed to be the, the, the MMA mecca of the entire world. Meanwhile, they comp 6,800 tickets. I thought that was a little thought that was a little interesting. Yeah, I mean, how do we get our name on that comp list? I didn't realize it was that high. Here I am going to all these events, paying out of my pocket. Uh, what line do I got to stand in to get a comp, for God's sake? Oh, nah, man. Yeah. 6,800 6, people. How many? Are there that many important people that don't need to pay in Toronto? No, no I, I mean, that's so weird. I don't understand. Man, that's... Kind of makes me think I, I don't, twice I mean, about. I, don't, I guess I don't really know what the number is on a normal UFC event in the states here. I never really pay attention. Uh, th- th- to th- I mean, there's comps, but they're not. But like I, I mean, that. I never really pay attention That's to stuff crazy. like that because, quite frankly, you know, I really don't care. But when I realized the number was so high, That's like, huge. Jesus, but, by the way, that was a great card. I mean, it's not like it was, uh, you know, like it was 151 with no uh, main event. Yeah, you know, no, I could I see mean, comp in half the, you know, but. Yeah, Even then, that, so, that okay, so card. our main event gets scratched, you know, we don't really know if this card is that good, so here I'm right. just going to give away 6,000 tickets? Is that how it 6, works? 000. I mean, how do I get in line for that? 6,000 tickets. Crazy. That's insane. Um, you know, which, by the way, on a side note, it kind of makes you feel like, you know, I, I'm already having a little trouble paying two, $300 for a ticket, so, uh, you know, then you always got the who's going to be injured thing, and, and, and you know, may, maybe, because you might not get what you paid for. Like, you pay for a, a Sone and Silva 2, all of a sudden that, that fight gets scrapped. They're not giving you a refund. So, you know what, so you drop two, 300 beans on a on a UFC ticket. No, that's what they're asking. And then, and then I'm just saying, so I'm just putting myself Never said in I shoes. And that. then you do. And, and just, next time you buy your UFC ticket, which I'm sure you will in the future, you know, and then <laughs> Dan, and then Uncle Dana is going to yell at you for booing. I mean, oh, please, please don't boo my co-main event. God. Yep. I mean, come on, Dana. Yeah, I know, man. It's uh, it's a bit redundant at this point. Hey, uh, before we went to the break, uh, we were talking about who's calling out GSP. I always know this is a favorite, favorite uh, time of yours. Anytime you get to smash GSP or walk all over him, I know you love to take the opportunity to do so. Uh, but just in case everybody huge out there didn't GSP hear. GSP fan, by the way. Stop. Until he fought BJ Pan and everybody's huge, going for GSP. Huge. It's okay. B- you can be honest. Okay. Martin Campman, he says GSP should be thanking him. He says he wants a shot at GSP after the fight with Condit. I'm wondering if that's assuming GSP is still the champ, or does he want to fight GSP anyway? I mean, uh, Condit's no uh, walk in the park, by the way. I mean, I love how everybody's wa- uh, looking know, past that guy. I know. That's crazy. You know uh, what GSP's response should be? Uh, Martin who? Martin who? What? <laughs> right? I mean, really? Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Catman, hey, it's uh, it's GSP here. Yeah. Hey, thanks, bud. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy, and it's funny because Martin Campman, he, I, I guess he feels after a win, o- uh, win over Johnny Hendricks justifies a title shot. He says he should have got a title shot a long time ago, and he's owed a thank you for beating all the tough guys in the division. A long time ago. We're yeah, talking about the same inconsistent Mark Campman, right? right? Okay. Yeah, he's putting together a streak now, but I mean, like a long time ago. I mean, I guess he's one of those guys like Michael Bisping that thinks you get a title shot based on tenure. Didn't Diego beat Martin Campman? Uh, and Paul Daly? I think Paul Daly knocked him out. Yes. Possibly. Yes, Paul Daly knocked him possibly. out. Possibly. And Jake I mean, Shields. Back in the day, Jake Shields has a win. That Although I thought Campman should have won that fight. Well, he didn't. But, didn't but you know what, him. Mark Cammon, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to sit here and, no, and pee on the guy here, but uh, it's crazy. I mean, well, not only is GSP already got a fight, you already got a fight. GSP's next opponent, assuming he wins, has already been lined up for him pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I think he's, uh, I think he's trying to pay, pull a page out of uh, Sonnen's book. Yeah, I and, think uh, everybody run his is. Gums just, a little yeah, bit. It seems to work for one guy. Why not? Chael Sonnen's really good at it. Yeah, Mark Campman is not that good at it. Excellent point. Um, and I was gonna, also going to say, shouldn't uh, Mark Campman worry about uh, Johnny Hendricks and that left yes. hook? Yes, Johnny Hendricks is going to win that fight. Yeah, I'm. Th- that guy's no joke. I mean, you talk about a guy that should be uh, arguably number one contender. I mean, uh, Johnny Hendricks is is one fantastic way to win for being just that. Definitely. Um, also, I mean, look at Bisbing. He's talking about Sil. I mean, I, I always love guys that are that are talking title and they're not there yet. You know, I mean, you, you can't look past the guy in front of you. I mean, you've seen it time and time again. Ask Nate. My, blah, blah, tongue tied today. Ask Nate Marquardt what worrying about the title did for him. <laughs> Where's he at? He's fighting a strike force, although he yeah, did look com- fantastic he's his coming last off fight. his best performance of his did. career, in my opinion. He can't, so can't take that away that's from not him. A, and, but he know. wasn't talking title, he's, though, he's, was he? Well, he's, getting, he's getting his fight, uh, his his fight, wait, he's getting his feet wet back with the UFC. I don't know if you noticed him coaching on the Ultimate Fighter. but Right, no, I did, and, yeah, I'm, and I'm happy team, to see uh, that. Team TRT over there in the yellow. Team TRT. <laughs> <laughs> you know, him and Carwin <laughs> and Emi Kova. But, that's uh, a good point. But, I, uh, yeah, Nate Marquardt. I'm pretty sure I sat here on this very table and picked Nate Marquardt to look fantastic in that fight. Did you? I did. I'd like to check the tape on that. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, is uh, defending against seven straight number one contenders, is that not tough? Those aren't tough guys in the division? <laughs> I'm just asking. You know what? You bring up a good point, but... Uh, Those aren't no. tough guys? They, they are tough guys. They're, i got to give you that. Let me i got something. You know what? If anyone wants to call in, 619-387-3452. I, here, right here. If anyone's watching on PFP, PFPSports.com, i got a UFC hat right here that I will give to the first person that can call that number and tell me last person Stop GSP them. finished. Stop. <laughs> So stop the press. Let me put down my weights, man. You giving away a hat? 
a hat. Oh my a god! Beautiful UFC officially licensed hat with a little octagon sticker on the and back. And I'm glad you said the last guy GSP finished because. Well, I mean, he he's the. I, I love GSP, but I mean, we could sit here and talk about his. Look at the guys he's fought. Who, who who else has finished those guys? I'm just curious. Stop it, dude. That's such a just weak curious. weak I'm argument. Curious. That is such a weak argument. Matt he's Hughes. supposed to be okay. the best All right. in that weight class. Okay, some people have finished him. Matt Sarah, who who who's he put that guy such, away? He is such such a weak argument. John Fitch, okay. Weak Johnny Hendricks did. Weak argument. All these guys have lost at some point in the career about get, been finished. It's a weak argument saying, well, who is finishing these guys? He's nobody, the best. He should be finishing these guys. Nobody, he's the best in the nobody's world. Nobody's finishing those number You're one right, contenders. You're right, but it's a weak argument. <laughs> weak argument. It is a weak argument. A weak argument only if you don't have anything to say about it. Well, how can I? I mean, he should be the guy finishing these guys. He's the best in the world. I'm not saying he needs to finish every single fight he's in, I'm but make an attempt to finish a couple of them, please. Some guys have to. Some guys have to come fight to actually. Uh, when some guys it's are playing safe and you're playing when, when not to lose. When the guy's lose. surfing on you, when you're on your back and the guy, if I mean, it's hard, not, really hard to fight when you're. If you're on that. the bottom and you're not, and, and you're, and you're playing not to lose and you're not giving anything up, just trying to make it out. I'm not. I'm not saying that's always the case. I'm just saying. Who else is finishing these guys? I'm waiting. Nobody. I'm waiting. I, I agree with okay. you there, but it's just I don't. I I I just don't like that argument. I'm sorry. Okay. I, he is a, he is supposed to be best in that weight class, top two or three pound for pound guys. Um, he should be finishing these guys. Okay. He, at right. least one of them. At least, at least one. a couple of them. All right. I'll give you that. Shane Carwin.